Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. This is for my very first Fright Crate, and it is the May Fright Crate. You can see there's a quote on there, which apparently there are always quotes. Uh, the most important things are the hardest to say because words diminish them by Stephen King. So this is my first one. Um, unfortunately, ended up being late. Usually it's going to be delivered within the first week or two of the, of the next month. So this is the May one, which has just shown up at the very end of June because there was a delay because one of the items, the vendor who was supposed to do one of the items ended up backing out because I think it was said that they went out of business or something. I don't know. For some reason, they ended up having to back out. So he had to get a replacement. Uh, Jay Stevens, that is, who does this. He had to get a replacement last minute. And the great thing about Fright Crate that I've learned is very communicative. Let's people know what's going on on the Facebook page. So but I'm excited to get into my first one. I don't remember what any of the franchises are supposed to be or any of the properties for this box. And I have watched um, unboxings, not of this particular one, but of past months. It's a box that I had always kind of had interest in getting into because it looked cool. And especially because they always have a t-shirt, which I'm always in the market for horror t-shirts. But the reason I hadn't been getting it is because... I was getting two horror or uh, two BAM boxes, the horror and the pop culture, and then on top of that, I've been doing my Snacku box. So I didn't want to put throw too many into the mix because I'm just spending money. Like I don't make any money on YouTube at this point, so I can't do too much at once. But I dropped the pop culture box for BAM, so giving this a whirl. All right, some packing paper. Oh, there's supposed to be an additional item thrown in here for everyone's inconvenience at least that's what jay stevens said so oh and there are two different versions of this box there's a i think it's four or f like a three or four amount of items uh and then the other one's five or six items and one's like 20 bucks and one's 30 bucks before shipping so i went with the with the bigger one because go big plus this is for the month of may and that was my birthday month so you know all right let me start with the t-shirt oh dude I like this t-shirt. This is, wow, okay. This is a nice design. I like this. Candyman, look at this. How much Candyman do people really see out there in, like, items? Look at this. That's pretty sweet. I like the touch with the bees in there. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean, it looks a good amount like Tony Todd, and I guess this is Virginia Madsen's character down there. Uh, I need to rewatch this. I will be meeting Tony Todd and Virginia Madsen in October at a horror convention. So um, maybe I should wear this to it. And what size did I go with? I went with, I think I went with, oh, just large. So I'll have to see how much this shrinks and check it out. But that's a nice shirt. I like that shirt. That's a nice, that's a nice shirt, man. Feels like there's a koozie. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. It puts the can in the koozie. <laughs> <laughs> and it's um wild bill from uh or buffalo bill from um sorry why am i blanking silence of the lambs i know it obviously he's holding the little dog i think the dog's name was precious or something but that's funny that's a so i had gotten a koozie through uh bam horror at one point and it was just like a camp crystal lake one that was like neon um yellow i think and it just said camp crystal lake and there was like nothing to it this is how you do koozies like put something on there and make it kind of clever like that's funny that's cool and it's funny i like that <laughs> that's cool i like that i like it quite a bit okay so this next thing is wrapped up looks like it's wrapped up pretty well too i have to oh yeah it's like a if i can get this undone okay here it's a magnet very cool very very cool Oh, this looks nice. It's just kind of like this. I don't think... If it's from a particular movie, I don't know what it is. But it's well done. It looks nice. Look at that. You can see the texture to it. And then the uh, magnet right on the back. Yeah, this looks cool. I mean, honestly, I have a beer fridge down here. This is my basement where I record. I have a beer fridge down here, so I can just throw that on my beer fridge. I'm down for magnets. If they put more magnets in this box going forward, I'm cool with it. All right, here is, oh man. This is, I feel like there's a lot in here for what I'm spending. Oh man, this is like really, 
jammed in here. I might have to rip it to get it out. So it looks like it's kind of like a holder, like a pencil holder. Also Silence of the Lambs. Oh, this looks good. Yeah, Hannibal Lecter. It's like a pencil holder. Look, all the way around. As you can see, yep, one on the bottom. I should have nothing on the bottom, but yeah, I mean, it looks good. Little pencil holder, Hannibal Lecter. Goes with the koozie. Yeah, it's good quality too. So it's like a nice, like, handmade piece. Uh, let me go ahead and do the pin next. I'm big on pins. People, if you've watched my Bambox unboxings, you know I'm big, big, big on pins. I love pins. So, what? Oh, okay. Got it, got it. I'm glad that they have it, like, actually on the pin backing that it is the faculty. There's someone changing because, spoiler, they're a alien creature thing. That dies if they snort crystal meth. It's kind of like what it was. Looks cool. Um, I'm not, honestly I'm not like huge on the faculty. I might have to go back and rewatch it. It has been a while. I just remember when I initially watched it, I was like, "That's decent. That's fine." I do remember quite liking uh, Elijah Wood's performance in it, but you know, I was just like, "Me." All right, and looks like the last time this thing's kind of big. Jesus, this is big. Oh my god, this is big. Holy crap. This thing is gigantic. This is like, this is nice. The djinn, or djinn, I don't know how people like to say it. Like the genie, basically, from Wishmaster. Which Wishmaster is a greatly underappreciated um, franchise of films. I've, I, I, I say that because I've heard a lot of people say the entire franchise is actually pretty good. I've only seen the first one. And I had never heard, like, a lot of hype around Wishmaster. But when I watched the first one, I remember being like, why are people talking more about this? This is a pretty good horror movie. So this is the, I'm gonna take the yeah, I'm going to take the light down a little bit so you can see the, the detail on this. Look at this. And he's got, like, an actual, like, jewel that he's holding. Look at this. This is nice. Like, the paint, the paint job is nice. The actual, like, sculpt of it looks really nice. I like the fact that they have him in, like, this kind of, like, toothed, demonic uh, tray, basically. Top of his head. This looks good. And it looks like the dude. It looks like the djinn or the genie from Wishmaster. This is a really nice display piece. I like that. That's really cool. This is... This box is well worth it, to be honest. It actually makes the fan box look really light. Oops. All right, so exclusive Wishmaster 4-inch bust. Be careful of what you wish for. Amazing bust inspired by the gin from Wishmaster, brought to you by Serial Resin Co., which the person who does Serial Resin Co. is a YouTuber named Darren Mitchell. Um, I've actually watched him for quite some time, before he even got involved with Fright Crate. Actually, before Fright Crate even existed, I've been watching Darren Mitchell's channel. So it's cool that he's then involved with this and I'm getting these items. He does a really good job. That's a, that's that's awesome. Darren, amazing. Um, then there's the exclusive Sweets to the Sweet shirt, uh, the Candyman shirt. Phenomenal artwork from our very own Max Cave. Please check him out on Facebook. Be his victim. Then there's the exclusive Hannibal Mind pen holder. I was right. It was a, well, pencil holder, I said, but same thing. Uh, another offering from Serial Resin Co. Sure to make you crave some fava beans and a nice Chiante. <laughs> Journey into the mind of madness. Very cool. Exclusive Demon Freddy sculpted maggot. Mag, maggot. Magnet. De oh, that's Demon Freddy. Okay, I can see it. Demon Freddy Krueger from New Nightmare. That makes sense. Exclusive only to Fright Crate. Once again from Serial Resin Co. Inspired by one of the best films in the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise. Yeah, that's it's yeah, that's a good one. And then the exclusive faculty coach pin from one of our favorite creature feature films of the 90s, 1.5 inch soft enamel pin, double post. Next month, okay, I'll tell it in, in a minute, but the fact that Darren Mitchell, aka Serial Resin Co., did three pieces for this box is pretty astounding. That guy must be very busy. That's really... And he does really good work. It's very cool. Um, okay, so 
if you don't want to know what's coming in the next one turn the video off now but first subscribe if you could for me it means a lot i would really appreciate that and um yeah comments down there what do you think of this box this is my first time obviously i'm continuing with it i already bought the june box which, which will be showing up in the next few weeks um so this is these are the franchises that will be in there jason lives my bloody valentine nightmare on elm street 3 chucky and the collector which by the way the collector that's another film that i think is underrated to be honest um, and I thought the collection, the follow-up, was actually pretty solid, too. And I've heard that they're actually working on a third installment to that series of films. So, interesting, exciting, all that. Uh, if you wanted to actually read it, I don't know why. There's the card. Kind of breaks everything down. And, yeah. I mean, as you can tell, very happy with this box. This is my first Fright Crate. And it is a very nice Fright Crate. Doesn't bother me at all that I had to wait for it. I am totally good with that because it is quality. It is awesome. And I'm just, like, extremely impressed with this. I mean, it looks ridiculously good. I mean, I like everything in there, but this is nuts. Plus, like I said, an underappreciated film. So, And that's kind of one of the things I've seen from Fright Crate is they hit some of the lesser-known lesser appreciated uh movies where you have to really be a horror fan to know what it is to have seen it so i like that jay stevens doing a great job man this is my first one and i love it uh but thank you everyone for checking this out like i said hit that subscribe for me please literally takes you a second very painless and it can mean a lot for me and put some comments down there let's talk about this and we'll see what goes on with next month but in the meantime check out my other reviews i do a lot of movie and show reviews all horror related. Uh, check those out. Thank you. And till next time, keep it brutal.